Today on MHC Sign and Design, we're going to be applying a decal here on a Chevy Express van. And then we're going to put some graphics up onto these windows. We're going to white them out so people cannot see in. So let me show you how to put a quick decal on a truck. Okay, so as you see, we've got some tape. And for our, our decal, we clean the, uh, clean the surface off with rubbing alcohol and a rag. I have an applicator tool, and obviously I need a tape measure. So, a lot of places on a van are not square, or not straight, or not uniform. We have a very straight line across right here. So, I'm going to measure from here to here. And from here to here, flat letter, flat letter. Three inches, three inches. You use whatever measurement you feel is right. Center it across here, center it across here, okay? I place my two pieces of tape and it's holding in place. Now I'm gonna take an additional piece of tape and use this as my hinge. I'm gonna put that in the center, come straight down and put that in the center. Okay, my decal is going to apply right there. So I'm going to take my squeegee right here and I'm going to peel this off just like this. Now I have something to guide myself onto. Peel this off. Now when you peel this, this is the backer. Throw that away. This is the part that's going to apply to the, to the door. All the black that you see right there is sticky. It's adhesive. So it's exposed. So you don't want to put fingerprints on it. You don't want to get dirt or dust on it. You want to peel this part away. Throw that piece away. Now you have this whole piece is exposed. You don't need to worry about that. It's taped down. I kind of skip that middle area a little bit. Give myself about mm, half an inch. And go open area. Inside, out, inside, out. Point the squeegee in the uh, way you want it to apply. And squeegee that down really, really well. Okay, now you do not need these. Same thing with this, you peel this back, and then you can line that up. You're gonna peel all this further back than what you need. As you can see, that part I did not apply to the van. So I'm gonna set that like that. Sometimes things like to get a little bit tricky. That won't be a problem. Peel all that. If you, if you do have an issue, take your tape, hold your piece, hold your vinyl application in, in place. And apply that right where you want. Okay, that'll hold for right now. Peel that off, all that's exposed. Squeegee. down everything in place really, really well. Then peel all the stuff you don't need off. get the phone and we'll take a closer look. Okay, let's take a closer look at this. Now the vinyl that we used
Orcal High Performance Cast 751 Gloss Black. There you go. Let's do the windows. Okay, now we're gonna apply this piece of vinyl onto this window and then another piece of vinyl onto that window. And I'll show you two different ways of applying that piece. The material we're using today is 3M Control Tac. It's made for an outdoor use, very long lasting, high durability film, which is an opaque film, which is not translucent. So you will not be able to see out or in through that window. So let me uh, give you a show of what's going on here. Now, what we've done, we've taken a rag and our alcohol and we've cleaned this entire area. And I mean, clean clear back away from what you're doing, clear underneath, you don't want any dust, any bugs, any residue, any hairs, anything on there. The windows are very particular and you need to clean them perfectly. So we've cleaned all that. So let's take our piece of vinyl. Let me show you a couple of different ways. First of all, we wanna make sure that this is gonna fit that window perfectly. Good, good. I'm gonna take a piece of tape and I'm gonna to toss one there and I'm gonna to toss one here. Like I said, I'm gonna throw one on this window and one on the other window and uh, we'll see which way we like to apply these. Now we can fold it and apply a piece down and fold it and apply that piece up. Or we can do opposite and go left and right or left and right. But today, I think I wanna to go top and bottom. So, let's take this. I'm gonna grab my roll of tape, grab a corner piece right here, peel this all the way up. All that gray that you see is the adhesive side of the vinyl. That's the sticky side. Tack that corner. Just get just the corner. There you go. Okay, now we've got our squeegee. And we want to expose all the window as much as possible. Make sure that window is clean. And you see that piece there that's hanging down. We're not going to worry too much about it, but when we apply our vinyl, we want to start about here. So when we apply the up, upper section, we can peel that off and we're not having any problems whatsoever. Let's peel that off. Drop this down. See that little bow? Kind of want that. That's the vinyl applying to a curved surface. And on the hand that I'm not using with the squeegee, left hand, I'm pulling with my right hand just giving it just a little bit of a tug. I'll show you. Now I've got the squeegee in my right. I'm giving this just a little bit of pressure. Okay, now you can see the outline of where the vinyl ends on the window. See that edge? You wanna apply just a little further than that. Now I've got all this is exposed and open. Peel that off, get it away from the sticky part of the vinyl, so move it. Okay, put those over there. Now this will fall. Now we're gonna pull this down to where that piece that was down is bumped and out of the way. And we're gonna make sure we got a nice solid straight line to where our squeegee started on that first side. Now only peel back a little bit. Try not to touch the adhesive and peel that a little bit back. You're 
pushing the vinyl toward the window as you're applying the squeegee to the vinyl. One hand is doing one thing, the other hand is doing the other thing. This may not be the way to install the vinyl, but it does work. Sometimes you might need a little bit of a stool to get yourself up to where you want to be. Now I could apply all that, but then I'm gonna have a problem here with the creases. So I can do this without heat, which is what I wanna do. But sometimes you cannot do it without heat. bit of pressure from both pulling and squeegeeing at the same time works wonders. Helps get things where you want them. Now I've got everything done but if I leave that that's going to be kind of an issue. So I want to go past where I'm applying to keep it flat. So squeegee it a little further than you need to. Yep. Okay, now watch what a heat gun does to that.
Okay. Now I'm taking the heat gun and I'm just a couple inches away. You can feel it with your hand. And you're taking your squeegee. Or your fingers. called post heat. You want to get that edge on that window nice and tight. Okay, so when that window is done, you can look on this entire window surface and there's nothing there. Perfectly flat. Turn this heat gun off. and let it cure and let it dry for a couple of minutes. So nothing's hot. Okay, so let's give it a few minutes. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. I went and grabbed my knife. I'm gonna change the blade out in this. Throw this away in your knife disposal. Now, I'm just going to have my knife out, the tip just out. I don't want to cut inside this area and scar the paint. So I want to cut this very carefully. So I only expose the very tip of the, of the knife. So, now I'm also gonna have, have the angle, not straight in, but slightly bent toward the window. There's two reasons why um, I cut the window to shape before I apply the other decal. Oftentimes, these can overlap, causing an issue. And you want to not have any obstructions in the way when you apply graphics. So it eliminates any tape, any wrinkles, excessive vinyl. Okay, feel like you're done? Put, put your knife away. Peel this 
carefully. I generally go around and follow myself around the window. I don't pull it up because if you miss the spot, you could expose the window. And I've had to redo windows before by just not being a little more cautious. Okay, throw this away. Now, this is where it gets fun because you also have to go around that window and make sure all your edges and your cut lines are perfect. On the corners, and edges, you can see how deep you should have your blade now. look if I didn't trim that within a week that vinyl is going to peel up and all that window will be exposed because that's left over just blowing in the wind Go around it just to double check. Now, take your finger, your hand, your palm, and push all those edges down really, really well. Now you've done this area, now you should clean this entire thing to hit that next window. So let's show you how to do that. So we need to clean that area. Isopropyl rubbing alcohol. I put it in a spray container, which works out really well. Spray your rag. Clean anything off of this window. Clean this area real well. Clean out up into here. Now, a cool trick is actually to clean underneath all that. So when you're trimming that out, your knife doesn't pick up any extra dust or dirt. And it's clean, clean. to do stuff twice. <clears throat> okay, that's clean. Okay, I said I was going to show you a different way to apply a, a, a window graphic. This one we trimmed in half and applied half, applied the other half. This one I just threw on there, everything's covered. And the other way is just to expose the entire thing and just apply it. So I've kind of taped it in place knowing that all my glass is covered, giving me plenty of workable room, as flat as this thing can go against the most solid edge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an entire piece of tape and I'm gonna run it all the way from the top edge to the bottom edge, giving me a good hinge and I got half of my tape on the vinyl and half of my tape applied to the van. 
apply that real well, squeegee that down. Now you can see that there's an edge like that uh, arched, which could make it very interesting to apply. So let's give it a try. So as I get up here, I make sure everything's clean and off of that. Looks like should go down fairly smooth, right? So let's peel our tape off right here. Peel this back. And pull about half of that away. Exposing half of it, half of the adhesive. And I got a good firm grip. about halfway. Peel the other half off. Secure all the edges real well. Make sure everything is squeegeed down further than you need it. What I mean by that is I only needed to go to that edge, but I'm going to clear out away from the graphic so I don't have any issues with wrinkles, bubbles, exposed window, anything like that. Got to peel some up, pull it back, peel it up, apply it. Okay, now I'm gonna peel this tape off. Sometimes you can reuse it. Sometimes there's no need to save it. Now you can see where the window edge is. Now let's grab the heat gun. Turn it on high. Make sure everything is down to where we want it to be down. Squeeze it in the corners, along the edges.
Okay, that's post heating. Now you want to let that dry. Not dry. Uh, heat to go out of it before you cut that edge. So give that a few minutes. dry and then you take your knife get a brand new blade what I'll use is white 3M control tack gloss film this is a 40C barely expose the tip of your blade Cut at an angle. Typically you cut these twice. You cut the excess off and then you go through and you cut a tighter cut edge around the, the window. this quickly to show you. I start here. Now you can take this and trim that. Not to cut yourself. Expose your blade and go through and angle that. And look at that extra that's coming off. Angles super important on windows. vinyl that we've trimmed off up. Look at all that. Let's go down this way. Yeah. Pick it all up. Corners are nice, clean, no chainsaw edges. Now I'm going to take the heat gun and I'm going to go around the edges really well where I cut and make sure everything is sealed and down to post heat that. The sun wreaks havoc on windows, so it's important to make sure everything is down and secured properly.
Now they want a, an adhesive logo right here in the corner. So instead of cutting it out and seeing through the window, I cut it out of a black vinyl and we're going to apply that decal over the top of this and then this window will be done. Let me show you how to do that. Since I just applied this vinyl and I post heated it, I want to take some cleaner before I put an adhesive decal on over the top of this and clean anything and everything that's in my way, if there is anything in my way. Okay, here is the, the decal that they want. I essentially want the space here and the space here the same, and the letters to be straight up and down and clean. There we go. Squeegee. There you go. Thanks for watching MHC Sign and Design. Now we're going to be putting this graphic on uh, the side of this express van. It's hard to tell what's level on this, but the most eye-catching level line is this lower line right here. So that's generally what we line things up to. So we center here to here and level it here and kind of visibly centered in the middle, okay? So, got our tape measure. Take our tape, center it right where we want it. Okay, we apply this, take our squeegee, Apply anything down that we need to get you down. Sometimes our workers aren't as awesome as they should be, but that's okay. Squeeze it down really, really well. Get all the bubbles out, wrinkles out. Make sure everything's good. It's in place. Double check your measurements. Measure twice. Apply once. Perfect. Okay, then we take a piece of tape. Left a piece of tape over here on this side. We're gonna make a hinge. Why don't I do a hinge on this side? That way you can see how it's applied the entire way over, okay? That way I'll use all this tape to show you what's going on. So we're gonna take half of the tape on the vinyl half of the tape stuck to the paint of the vehicle. Normally it's one big long line of tape. Now, okay, take your squeegee, crack that piece right there so you know where you're applying, making sure that that's my straight line. So you don't want it crooked, crooked. you want it straight and square and exactly where you want it. So I'm gonna peel this entire thing back. Peeling up, exposing adhesive that needs to be applied to the window, to the door. <clears throat>
fly down, we will get that when we have a free hand. Now when you get to where your backing material is left, you can check your, your lines. Oh, I'm right on, perfect. Okay, now that's down. This can be fixed now. Just like that. Everything is applied now. Feel the rest of this back. Removing the rest of the backing material. That on my right hand side of me can be tossed away. Hold this. Apply that piece right there. Sometimes if you have a problem, you can cut between the letters. Help everything fall in place and, and not cause any more of an issue. In fact, we can do that right here. That lower section went down very easily. This section. Lines up perfectly. Now I'm going to peel transfer tape off. Carefully apply this. Felt side of my squeegee. Now, if you have any issues? Pop a couple of bubbles with your with your knife, pushing out all the uh, air holes, and trim off what you need to. Line up, line up stuff. Peel that off. Beautiful. Now it's applied. You can double check, make sure everything is down, squeeze it down where you want it. Now it's time to peel off the transfer tape. Any layers, it's obviously uh, easier to peel off these layers as you go. There we go. Throw it away as you go. Thanks for watching MHC Sign and Design. We're finishing up this Chevy Express van and we're putting on a great big decal on the side here. So let's show you how to do that. That's a better angle. Okay, so I've got some tape to put this in place. <clears throat> I want this slightly crooked.
Now, here's what I like to do. So I want to mark that. Okay, so me or one of the installers knows, okay, that's where the gas cap is. We have a line down here. We have lines going across here and a couple lines going up across here. We like that logo centered in between those the best we can. And we want not deal with that line. So we do have a chance to bring that up a little bit closer to the top. So we're not having to deal with the bottom line. So let's go up just a wee bit. Oh uh, yes. Okay. Got a line here. Got a line here. Got a line here. Anything else? Yes. That's free of that line. That's free of that line. Okay, that's in place. <clears throat> now, the easiest way to do this would be side, down, up. So, I'll show you how to do that. It's just to hold it in place just that much better. Okay, this is coming down, it's getting peeled. It's coming down, it's getting peeled. And we know right where to put that back up. As you can see, the vinyl we're using is an Avery Rack vinyl. into the groove. Okay, that groove is done. Push as 
much of that air and those bubbles out and away from you as possible. Okay, now. Okay, so when I apply this right here, there's air pockets here from these lines. So I'm going to take my heat gun, remove, first of all, I'm going to remove all this transfer paper, having all this exposed. I'll take my heat gun and I'll heat this section up and I'll take my finger or wrap glove and push the air down, push the air down, push the air down, push the air down, have a place for that air to go and escape, that way it'll lay flat. Let's apply this and remove everything and I'll show you how that's done. Now I can remove this tape from the sides. that away. Okay, now this bottom piece gets applied. Peel this up. Okay, we got that. We got that. some more backing off. Holding it in your hand down here. Two pieces together. Keep squeezing down. truck right here, the ridge kind of comes out. Got to watch that. Feel some more backing off. Watch it on the letter so you don't lose any pieces on accident. Gas cap coming up. Go backing up. Scooping down. Backing off. Now, 
as an installer, it's important to know you don't want the vinyl to end on a crease like that. That's a place for dust to gather, water to gather, dirt, debris to kind of catch right there. So eventually your vinyl is going to peel up. So as long as you're away from that edge, which we're about a half an inch away, that's good. With this edge right here exposed, some heat is going to be involved and we're going to have to trim that edge so that gas cap will open. And that's the same reason down here as up here. We don't want it to stop on that edge as water is going to drip and it'll gather and then it'll peel that vinyl. So we want it away from it and it'll run away from it and it'll drool off of it. So it works out real good. So we want these edges down really tight and secure. When air is coming at it this way, driving on a freeway or roads, you want that edge down and sealed so no air or water can get in there and push that up, failing the vinyl. You as an installer need to watch and be aware of those. Let's peel the transfer tape. Vinyl is amazing. When you get small little air pockets, you can just press it down and the air goes out of it. Push all the air out. Perfect. Careful around exposed vinyl exposed is it's not gripped right there. Don't want to tear it. Perfect. Take your thumb and kind of go around that. Yeah. Awesome. Trim that piece and trim this. Let me show you how to do those. This is a wrap glove. It's made by Avery. There's many different brands and varieties. Makes your hands really slick. I take Windex and I spray my fingers. Get my fingers really wet. As you can hear in the background, we got our heat gun on. So what we'll do is we'll just flash that with a little bit of heat. You can see it wrinkled up a little bit. Take your wet wrap glove, push the air the way you want it to go. And it seals in there real well. Same with this. Since the air from this area can't go out, it has to come this way. So we're just gonna push it up, push it out.
out. When that's done, take your squeegee and seal it. Now you can look at it real close. Now we're gonna do that area. Okay, now this area takes two, either one cut or two cut. You can cut against this side or you can cut against this side. One, two. Or what I like to do is cut against this cap and tuck this outside edge in. So let's do that. We wanna make sure we push all that vinyl in as far as we can. Fresh new blade, clean cut. Don't expose your blade too far. So now we're gonna go in this way. Okay, now I can open the door. And I'm gonna take my wrap glove and push that vinyl down. As you know, this area was cleaned. This is a place that definitely gathers lots of dust and debris. So I can't reach back in that area. My squeegee can. So I'm gonna take it and fold it into that area. Now, this is the fun part. Some people uh, get a little nervous. Heat on gas, they don't mix. So watch yourself. In all likelihood, not a problem, but you have people that might not be willing to do that. Seal those edges in real well and get around the cap too. That completes that wrap on that truck. So we, we installed this big side. On this side over here, we installed this logo. These two windows, we white it out, put a logo in the corner, and then we applied a big logo here on this side. A lot of fun stuff to do. Sometimes you keep it simple and keep it nice and clean, but still shouts your business and uh, you don't look like a questionable truck going down the road. So thanks for watching MHC Sign and Design.